All right, this is a slightly shaky cam video, guys. And gals, if it's gals. Uh, this is because I'm freehanding to show the work that my son and I did for a generator project that he is doing for school. And we got some uh, great assistance from his uh, grandfather, who's got a wood shop, so we were able to cut everything. So what we did was we salvaged some magnets out of hard drives. Uh, my father-in-law, his grandfather, uh, has access to be able to salvage those. So as you can see, we have alternating on both sides of these kind of stop sign shaped boards after we were done cutting them. And we have two coils here, one here and then another one over here. And these were salvaged out of fans from where my father-in-law works. And they're steel or iron cord, it's plates, so as to improve the output from the uh, magnetic flux as the magnets go by. And you can see that they grab it's a bit of a rocking motion as the magnets, the hard drive magnets, grab onto the onto the steel. Anyhow, we've got them set up in series. I don't have any electronics because this is uh, the night before it goes off to the school. This is just generally the layout we did. And there's space, as you can see, for we could if we could get the other six we could set it up so that there could be six now the biggest hack that I pulled was this is the pulley off the end of a clothesline uh, pinching unit uh, anybody who uses clotheslines is going to be familiar with that I don't have where I got it out of because I destroyed it to get this out anyways there's pulleys on two ends there's a gap in the middle it's like a giant C shape and you can use it to keep your clothesline from drooping a lot if you've got a lot of clothes on it. So I stole that from that. I also grabbed a pulley. That is the end pulley that is uh, used for clothesline hanging. And I ripped this pulley out of its uh, white metal cheap icky bracket thing. That was fun. And the big save from it was the fact that this has already got a bearing in it, so that makes for a nice bearing that that can spin on, and the bolt that is now holding it here is a leg bolt that goes down through, and I pilot hold this block. The block was measured so that it sits at as close to the same height as the top of this is, is reasonable with woodworking, just getting it to work. so. So this is what we managed to put together to make a generator, and it produces 8 volts of AC at, if I remember correctly, 480 RPM, and when you roll it through a bridge rectifier, it still puts out over 7 volts. So it's uh, pretty impressive. So it's not hard to get this thing to make 5 volts power because you can drop the RPM down quite a lot. So we've had a lot of fun putting this together. You can see in the middle, we've just got it suspended with a stack of blocks to work as a bit of a suspend position between the two platters. Now realistically we could probably have mounted the magnets off of that and down to here and have all eight along the bottom. But uh, that'll be for more playing later because I've got some round rare earth magnets and I'm definitely going to have some fun. There's definitely a lot more fun to be had with this. So anyhow, just figured I'd show. What we've been up to and I'm not just putting up the odd video about parts I'm not doing anything with. Uh, actually starting to have some fun with some of this stuff and I'll uh, 
once the project's back from school, I'll put up the board that we put together that this that hooks up to this, and uh, you guys will be able to see that too. Thanks, and don't forget to like or put a comment uh, and subscribe if you want to see more. Catch you later.